Avacodas and welcome to the crash course on SQL Alchemy, where we'll learn the basic crude operations and how to interact via this ORM with the SQL Lite database. Long story short, SQL Alchemy will allow us to use Python functions on objects rather than writing SQL. So let's begin by creating a Python file where we're going to write our code. I'll call it SQL Alchemy example.py and I'll just remind you that we're working from within the virtual environment. You can find the link in the description on how to install and activate the virtual environment. If you don't have SQL Alchemy already installed, you can install it via the pip package manager. Just type pip install SQL Alchemy in the console and it will do the rest for you. And now that you have it installed, it is time to import the SQL Alchemy library at the top of the file and use DB as its alias. And the first thing to do after we've imported the library is to create the engine. In simple words, the engine is the starting point for any SQL Alchemy application. And since we're going to be using SQL Lite database, please pay attention. There are three forward slashes. This is how we specify them within the create engine function. And in return, the create engine function produces an engine object based on our URL. But create engine does not establish a connection. So we'll need to call the connect method on the engine object and we'll save it in connection. The next important concept of SQL Alchemy ORM is the concept of the metadata. In short, metadata is a container object that keeps together and describes many different features of a database or multiple databases. For example, the metadata object will contain all of the schema constructs we've associated with it. You'll see it taking its place in practice when we're going to be defining the schema for our table. So for this training example, let's create a table for a fruit company. We are pretty much capitalizing on the previous lesson on SQLite where we're writing the actual SQL queries, but this time we're going to be using SQL Alchemy and its methods. So we're using the method table to create our table products where we're going to have just three records for now. So we're going to specify the metadata as the next parameter and then we're going to specify which schema our records will obey. So again, in this case, we're only going to have three columns. So on the new line without any SQL, we write db.column and we specify our first column, which is going to be product ID, and it's going to be our primary key of type integer. So in essence, this is our zeroth column, if you'd like. So we don't count it as the real column. <laughs> However, it is real, but it will be handled automatically. That's why. So the first column will actually need to specify the values for or insert the values is going to be the product name of type text. The second one is the supplier name which is going to be of type text as well. And the last column will be the price per ton, which is going to be of type integer. And now that the schema for our table is fully defined, we're going to call the create all method on the metadata and we'll pass the engine to this method. So I've noticed a tiny inconsistency. So the table name should not begin with a capital letter. Let me correct that. And then if I'll run the script by typing in the console Python, then the name of our file, sqlalchemyexample.py. And after pressing enter, you'll notice a new file in your working directory, which is of course our products SQL Alchemy database. And now that we've created our database and specified the schema for our table, let's populate our table with values or records. So we begin by specifying the insertion query where it all will happen. We'll take our products object and the insert method. Then we'll chain another function to it called values. And inside of that function, we'll specify our values, which will take a list of dictionaries where the keys are going to be the column names and the values are going to be, well, values we want to insert into our table. So for the first record, the product name will be specified as 
Bananas. The supplier will be, of course, United Bananas. And price per ton will be 7,000 of money. The next record will have product name as Avocados, the supplier name as United Avocados, and the price per ton will be 12,000 of money. And the very last record will be Tomatoes, with the supplier name of United Tomatoes and price per ton 3,100 money. Now that we've defined our insertion query object, let's actually insert these records into our table. And we can do so with the help of the method called execute. I will immediately comment it out because we don't want the insertion to happen every time when we run this code. And now let's actually check the records in our table. And we can do that, of course, with the select query. So we use the select method and we pass there the name of our object products. But bear in mind, because we expect multiple records back, we put it in square brackets. Once the selection query is ready, we can write a method to execute this select all query. So we use connection, execute, and we pass select all query. Then we print select all results. We use another method called fetch all to make sure it will return all of the results. And once we run the code in the console, we should see the three records we put into our table earlier on. So basically, if we'll leave the select without any other attributes or methods, it will return the equivalent of the select all query. But if we need to select the records by the specific attribute, we need to specify the condition using where clause, where we specify what is the column or attribute we are going to be looking for and the condition. So in our case, this is the price per ton that needs to be equal to 12,000 money. And because under this condition, the only price per ton, which is equal to 12,000 is the price per ton for avocados, we will expect to see just one record, which is going to be the avocado. But bear in mind that not only you can use the equality, you can also use greater than or less than, for example. So this was the operation of selection. But if we need to update the records in our table, we can use update method. In this case, we're going to be updating a single record. Therefore, we specify products, the name of our table without square brackets. Then we specify the condition again, where the supplier name will be equal to United Bananas. And let's say we want to change the value to United Fruits. And once we've finished writing our update query, we'll need to pass this query into the execute function. And bear in mind that because the update operation does not output anything into the console by itself, we'll need to use another select statement to inspect our table and see the changes. We'll comment out the previous print statements and once we'll run this code, we'll see that the supplier name, the United Bananas, was changed to United Fruits. So now in the console, you can observe the impact of our latest update query. Let's comment it out and let's move on to the last CRUD operation, which represents D and this stands for deletion. Let's imagine that for this example, we will be dealing with tomatoes no more. Therefore, we need to remove the record from our table. Syntactically, deletion is quite similar to the update method. We specify the condition that will help us to allocate the record which we are going to delete. And this can be done in different ways. For example, we could have used the product ID, but in this case, I'm going to be using the supplier name, United Tomatoes. And similar to the update operation, once we've executed this code, we won't see anything in the console. Therefore, we copy and paste another select query.
And as you'll see, now we only have two records. The tomatoes were deleted. So we've looked at the basic CRUD operations, how we can work with SQL Alchemy on the SQL Lite database in Python. Now, please give this video Emperor's thumbs up, toll the bell and subscribe. That was V, see you in the next lesson. Thank you.